Hello YouTube and fellow DC Comic fans, I'm Keith OneShot, and this is my Comic Complete Dramatic Reading Series, and today, we will be covering Batman Issue 28, The War of Jokes and Riddles, Part 4, from DC Comics. All art, text, characters, and storylines belong to DC Comics and their respective owners, not me. If you enjoyed this story, feel free to go out and support DC Comics in your local comic book shop. We start the story off with Jim Gordon on two different days, side by side. On the first day, we see Jim Gordon taking off his tie, then his shirt and pants. On the second day, we see Jim Gordon putting on a prisoner's outfit, then cuffing himself, as he's then escorted by armed guards. We then hear Batman narrate. I told him not to go. Have you looked at the map, he asked me. I've seen the map, I said. The city has fallen, he said. The city had fallen before, I said. This is Gotham. I said this is what happens. What I said is, we catch it. You and I, Gordon, we raise it back up. He dragged in his pipe, then he laughed as smoke came from his mouth. Do you ever listen to yourself, he said. I bet you do. But honestly, pal, do you ever believe what you hear? We then see Jim Gordon on day one as he walks through the streets of Gotham, naked towards the carnival. Then, on day two, we see Jim Gordon walking through Gotham in his prisoner suit as he makes his way towards a building with the armed guards escorting him. We then hear Batman narrate. By that point in the war, Joker had captured most of Gotham's Upper West Side. Riddler at the East. Between the two is a park, where most of the overhead fighting occurred. Waves of men and women crashing into each other, laughing at their jokes, marveling at their riddles. Once a day for an hour, the two sides would quit, let the authorities in to collect the bodies. During one of these quits who arranges meetings, Gordon left two letters in the park. He said he wanted to talk. Unarmed, just talk. Maybe find a way out of this. The Riddler's response was a 37-page letter. It dictated where to go, what to wear, how to walk. The Joker used lipstick to write on the back of a dead man. Come in your undies. They'll kill you, I said. They'll try, he said. We then see in the first day, Jim Gordon is naked standing in front of the Joker and his army, which includes Deadshot, the Ventriloquist, Scarface, Penguin, Mr. Freeze, Mad Hatter, and Solomon Grundy. We then hear the Joker say to Jim Gordon, And the Lord said unto John, Come forth and you shall have eternal life. But John came fifth, and what a toaster. We then see in the second day, Jim Gordon is in a prisoner's uniform standing in front of the Riddler and his army, which includes Poison Ivy, Deathstroke, Victor Zaz, Clayface, Killer Croc, Firefly, Scarecrow, and Two-Face. We then hear the Riddler say to Jim, You're locked in a room with nothing but a table and a mirror. How do you get out? Poison Ivy says, in the mirror, Deadshot says, you see what you saw. Victor Zaz says, you get the saw. Clayface says, you cut the table in half. Killer Croc says, now you put the two halves together. Firefly says, two halves make a hole. Scarecrow says, you go into the hole. Then Two-Face says, and come out the other side. We then join Batman and Jim Gordon on the roof, where we see Jim Gordon smoking a pipe. Then he tells Batman, they asked for you, both of them. Bring me the Batman and the war ends. Then Batman says, what did you say? Jim Gordon then takes a pull from his pipe as he looks at Batman. Then Batman says, we need to go in. Then Jim Gordon responds, no, I saw it. They wanted me to see it. The Joker's got the whole city wired with bombs. Riddler's got guards everywhere, pointed at civilians. We go in wrong, they see a hint of you, how many die? I'm not repeating the joke factory incident. It wasn't funny the first time. I've contacted the feds. This is a war. We go in like it's a war. Not cops and masks. Overwhelming force. Until then, you and I, we keep them contained. Anything comes downtown, we push it back. Anything tries to go uptown, we keep it out. Let their soldiers kill each other and keep them from getting new soldiers. We then hear Batman narrate. By that point, every villain had been given an offer. Some by Joker, some by Riddler. The few who said no to the offer didn't live long, with one notable exception. We then see a window, then suddenly hear a crash as Kite Man is thrown out of the window. We then see Catwoman at the window as she says, Kite Man, please. We then see Kite Man falling to the ground as he says, Hell yeah! Then Batman swoops in and saves Kite Man. Then we hear present day Selena Kyle narrate, I knew you were there. Then present day Bruce Wayne narrates, I'm sure. Then we see Catwoman during the war say to Batman, I knew you were there. Then Batman says, I'm sure. In the past, during the war, we see Batman jump into the window. Then we hear the present day Bruce tell Selena, You explain this was a Maroney crime family apartment. The family had stolen a fortune from you. With the war on, you were taking the fortune back. We then see the present day Selena Kyle tell Bruce, I lied. Then Bruce says, You lied. Back in the past, during the war, we see Catwoman opening a safe as Batman questions her, Why haven't you taken side? Then Catwoman responds by saying, I'm not like them, they're criminals. Then Batman says, You're currently breaking into a safe that's not yours. Then Catwoman says, You know what I mean, I'm not like them, they're unsuccessful criminals. Batman then asks Catwoman, Do I need to worry about you? To which Catwoman replies, are you checking up on me, Bats? Are you trying to protect me? Batman answers, No, no one needs to protect you. Catwoman then leans in close to Batman and says, Oh, well then, yes, you very much have to worry about me. Then Catwoman kisses Batman. We then hear present day Bruce narrate, Afterwards, I slept. When I woke, you were gone. With the diamonds. Then Selena replies, Okay, yes, but in my defense, I did warn you, I'm not exactly unsuccessful. 
We then see Deathstroke on a roof and Deadshot on another, both with snipers aimed ready to fire as we hear present day Bruce narrate. That afternoon, the battle of the snipers began. After Gordon didn't respond to his offer, Riddler ordered Deathstroke to leave the west side and kill me. Joker, who had a man in the Riddler's ranks, learned of this move and sent Deadshot out of the west side to kill me. The two set up their nest overlooking Gordon's roof as they waited for the signal to come on. They each saw each other cross away. We then see both Deadshot and Deathstroke fire their snipers at each other. We see the bullets fly, then collide in midair, exploding, as we hear present day Bruce narrate. They were unfortunately well matched. They fought hard, I chased them where I could, I stopped them where I could, but they were the best mercenaries in the world, and I was a year away from kicking a tree. It took five days. On the first day of their fighting, four people died in the crossfire as they sniped cruelly across the Gotham Center terminal. On the second day, 14 died when they sprayed M16s into a crowd. On the third day, Deadshot bombed the building. 28 people died. On the fourth day, they went back to guns. 62! 62 gone! We then see Batman during the war, doing his best to save as many lives as he can, as we hear present day Bruce narrate. On the fifth day, it took five days. Five days of watching them murder my city, as they try to murder each other. Five days where Joker and Riddler got to head their war, while I chased their minions. Five days of death, five days of blood, five days. And on the fifth day, it took five days. We then hear present day Selena say, Bat, Bruce, are you? Then Bruce says, I'm, I'm fine, I'm sorry. It's just I, I caught up with them on the fifth day. In the war, we see Batman punch Deathstroke in the face and kick Deadshot in the gut as Batman screams, ENOUGH! Batman continues to fight the two mercenaries as he says, THIS ENDS TODAY! I'M IN THESE TODAY! DO YOU HEAR ME? I'M DONE! YOU'RE DONE! NO MORE! NO MORE! NO MORE! Ah! During the war, we see Jim Gordon on a rooftop telling Batman, while you were playing with your dead men, feds finally responded, went in unannounced, two hours ago, to clean up GCPD's mess, they said special forces, best of the best, Two units simultaneous, hitting east and west. They lost contact with the west unit 20 minutes in. Well, they got one message after that. Joker came on and said, I went to buy some camouflage uniforms the other day, but couldn't find any. And in the east, Riddler called me directly on the landline. He said he was ready whenever we are. He's ready for us to come in and clean up all of this mess. City always falls, we always catch it. We then hear present day Bruce narrate. Five days after they told Gordon I could end this war. Five days after I saw you, dead shot. Floyd Lawton was checked into Gotham Mercy. His upper jaw, his orbital socket, and his right cheekbone were shattered. A blood clot had ruptured between his skull and his brain. He went into surgery immediately. Eight hours later, he was declared stable. That much head trauma, the doctor said it was a miracle he survived. Nothing but a miracle. And that ends today's story. Comic published by DC Comics. All right, story art and characters belong to DC Comics and their respective owners. Not me. This has been Batman Issue 28, The War of Jokes and Riddles Part 4, and I'm your host, Keith OneShot. If you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of my Comic Complete Dramatic Reading series. And support DC Comics by picking up a copy of the Trades and Single Issue Comics. Support your local comic book shop, take care, and have a great day. Goodbye!